All right, guys, good morning. Mr. G bringing you coffee and cross out. Today, we're going to talk about fusions. Uh, we're not really going to talk about how to do it because that's really easy, but yeah, I will show you how to do it. We're going to talk about what are the best fusion combinations. We're going to look at percentages of getting those fusion combinations. So if you have never fused anything before and you're a new player, don't do it. Don't. Just don't. It's going to cost you too much money. It's going to be a huge waste of your time. If you're a high-level cross-out player and you have most of the parts you already want, you're sitting on extra coins, well then, hey, fuse some stuff. Uh, probably the most popular fusion in cross-out involves everybody's good friend, the, uh, the humpback. Why? Because there's only two possible fusions you can get with cabs. So first of all, we're just going to walk through how to do it. You have to have three of an item. You're going to lose two of those items in the process of fusing it. Now, with the humpback cabin, you're going to get either option to increase tonnage, or you're going to get the option to increase the mass limit. And that's the one you want. Everybody wants that increased mass limit. And so that makes this fusion that we're going to look at right here probably one of the most popular ones. Apologies for my voice, guys. Just sick, tired, and overworked at the end of the year. So it's taken me a little while to uh, get over this cold. So where do we put it? Where do we put it? You can see, all right, we've got this fusion actually on a bunch of different cabs. Um, we've got heavy lifting. The one that, well, not the heavy, hauler, hauler. That's the one you want um, because it's going to give you a boost to that mass limit. So you can just put a few more armor bits on whatever it is you're using. Um, I actually have this on my regular account, the uh, back hauler. It's a good one. So, and you've got a 50% chance to get it. And even if you don't get that, you're going to end up with the one for tonnage. So, Probably the most popular fusion in game is humpback hauler, and the reason I can't find it is because I'm in the wrong screen. I'm looking at the fusion screen, which you're going to find right up there. There it is, humpback hauler, twenty-two thousand kilogram mass limit. Second best fusion, in my opinion, you can get in cross out because I fused pretty much every single part. Is this one? is thermostable radiator and the reason for it is it increases the effectiveness of the radiator by 30 percent and this is already an amazing part um it's easy to fit into vehicles and it's going to let you shoot for longer i've always preferred radiators over uh coolers uh, and let me show you the chance of getting that done so let's do what's the chance of getting that fusion well you only have to worry about two options durability increase or module effectiveness increase by 30 percent so it's absolutely worth doing it some of these have way too many possibilities and so many of them are really 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 bad sometimes i've had to fuse apart so many times to get the fusion that i want now i'm lucky i'm on a promo account so i just i get new parts and they just respawn if they get used up um, now for example if you're going to fuse something like the aspect uh, take a look at how many options you have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have a ten percent chance um, of getting any of those options you want, and most of them are terrible. Durability, eh. range, not great. Optimal range, not great. Damage increase five percent. Sure, that's great. Recoil, no, that's terrible. Aim time, terrible. Spread reduced by ten percent, maybe. Weapon rotation speed, that's terrible. Um, time to overheat. That's always a good one. And it looks like they've got a bug in there and they need to go fix that. And cooling time reduced by 10%. That's a good one as well. But it's going to be not worth your money trying to hit those ones. So my only real recommendation for people, you know, is, is to fuse for that hauler bonus on cabs and get that thermal stable radiator. But we'll look at some of the other fusions that are out there. Uh, and we'll look at some of the other possibilities to get them. So let's look at weapons. Um, my top two with weapons, I like to use the Dangerous for the 5% damage bonus, or I like to use Heat Resistant, which this is new. It wasn't screwed up in last patch. So I'm going to take a little drink of coffee and see if my voice sounds less like warmed over garbage, but it doesn't. Um, heat Resistant is nice. Combined with a thermostable radiator, that's going to let you shoot for a lot longer, um, stacking that. And we'll toy around with some of these. Uh, reinforced, I don't usually use that. I mean, if you're making a really small build, you might use recoilless. 
Uh, for the Skinner, we went ahead and we did Sniper. Just got a little bit of extra range on that. Uh, my most favorite one is Dangerous, though. Just a damage boost of 5%. And then sometimes you can get... Where is it? Um, 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 this one called Incendiary for explosive devices right, on Impulse. It's going to give you a boost uh, of explosion radius by 10%. But let's, let's look at the chances of actually getting that on the Impulse. They're, they're not great. Um, so we actually have to go to the fusion. Bum, bum, bum. And you can fuse things that have already been fused, uh, but it will lose that fusion. So it's got a 1, 2, 5, 6, 7. Uh, so slightly better than 10% chance uh, on getting that on that particular fusion for that item. So I wouldn't recommend wasting your time to really do that. So we're going to wrap up, take a look at all the rest of the weapon fusions we've got. Oh, I forgot a big one. Uh, this is a really big one that I like to do. Um, is if I'm making something really heavy, um, we either have two options with movement parts. We have the option for mule, which is going to give you a tonnage boostage of 5%, or reinforced, which is going to give you a part durability increase of 10%. Usually, I almost always want, uh, I like making things big. I like to get mule. But with something like a Goliath, that durability increase of 10% is huge. So with the fact that there's only two options, and that one gives you a 50% chance on getting the one you want. So I have a whole ton of of wheels fused for mule or for uh, reinforced. I like to put reinforced wheels in front because you tend to get shot more in the front or in the face. Uh, so reinforced is a nice fusion, but if you're running out of mass, it's always nice to have things that are, by mass I mean tonnage, it's early guys. It's always nice to have things that are gonna boost your tonnage. Um, probably the only one I really need to test for y'all this morning is this one. All right, guys, so I'm always talking about the thermostable radiator and how much I love it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at a cord with a regular charged purple radiator. How long does it take for this thing to overheat? All right, so it takes fairly long with one of these. All right, now we're going to try it with thermostable radiator. You know, it's not huge. But you do a couple of these, and that bonus is going to be a lot better. It's also going to be better if you're moving. You're going to get a better bonus from these if they're moving, because this module is much more effective when you're moving. And just for fun, and just for the sake of science, because you guys have asked for this in the comments and so many times, um, we've got like eight uh, fused thermostable radiators here and like the rest are just regular thermostable radiators. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. A lot. 14, 15, let's, there we go. I'm gonna let that go because I'm going to need to get my coffee while this thing fires away. Let's take a drink here. Oh, that's good. You guys requested this one cord and it's the maximum energy. 14, 15 radiators. Shoot up our mammoth here. Oh, it's tasty. I need to get some more coffee, though. By the time this is done. Oh, dear God, it's still going. Don't get mad at me. You guys requested this, so... We're doing it. Still shooting. And wait for it. Wait for it. And... She's over. Alright, guys, that was it. For this one, those are just a recap. Um, cab fusions to get the hauler one for the uh, mass limit bonus is great. Thermostable charged radiator fusion is great. Um, and that works on coolers and radiators, whether they're blue or purple. That's a good one. You got a 50 50 chance on getting it. And then movement part fusions. You get some extra tonnage or extra reinforced movement parts. So both of those are good fusion options. Everything else, um, don't touch it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't. Can this thing do the jump? Um, we'll find out. Uh, if you guys want to see more stuff like this, hit that like and subscribe button. And you want to hang out and talk about what you're building, get some help on it, come by the Discord, link in description. I gotta go drink more coffee and do a bunch of work for my actual job, so that means Mr. G out!